What's up? Hello, my name's Kitty. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the Corn Adidas release part two. So excited, let's get into it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so last year Corn and Adidas finally collaborated after 30 years of there being a possible collaboration. Meaning that Corn and Adidas should have collaborated 30 years ago, but we finally got it. In the late 90s and the early 2000s, Korn were always wearing Adidas head to toe. Adidas were gifting them, but they never came through with a paid or an official collaboration. So they never paid Korn to wear their stuff and they never came through with like a physical collaboration. So Puma came in and said, hey, yo, Korn, we make clothes similar to Adidas, wear our clothes and we'll pay you to wear it. So they did. There was never an official collaboration between them either, but they did do a paid collaboration aka an endorsement. Many years down the line, we're in 2023 last year, and there's a resurgence of the early 2000s fashion and music, meaning that new metal is back. There are new new metal bands and there are a lot of new kids interested in that genre, as well as all of the thousands of new metal fans that have always existed forever since the late 90s. So thanks to two people at Adidas in the design and marketing team, we got this official collaboration. They are corn and metal and new metal fans, and thank God to them for making this collaboration happening so that we, the fans of both corn and Adidas, can finally get our hands on the corn times Adidas collection. So that launched last year. So here I am holding one of the pairs from that collaboration. If you want to see more about that, you can go and see my previous video on my page all about this collection. So, I became the unofficial news source for the release information for the Corn Adidas collection last year, especially on my TikTok. And since they've released some information on a part two, I'm getting tons of comments asking me to do a video talking about the new collection, what I think about it and where you can get it. So, <laughs> So last year it was very hard, as it always is with collaborations like this, to get your hands on anything from the collection. There was apparel and shoes. And I hinted at the places that you might be able to find them because Adidas were not telling us. This is because they know that it is super rare, the limited edition, and everybody wants some. And if they tell us all where to get them, it's not fair on everybody because then all the resellers will go and buy them up. So in many respects they do it for the right reasons. However, I'm a fashion stylist, I've worked in the sneakers and streetwear world for many, many years, and I know where these collaborations go. So I, all I was doing was giving information that a lot of people like me already know. For example, your top tier retailers for sneaker collaborations in the UK and in London are places like Foot Patrol, End, Sneakers and Stuff, the Adidas Confirmed app, and even places like Size, the retail store, did get some of the collaboration. I hinted at stores like that and similar ones from abroad and in Europe where you could pick up the collection. What we call in the Nike world, tier zero stores, but in the Adidas world. So if a store carries tier zero Nike, that's like high-end collaborations, they're most likely to also carry rare collaborations that Adidas and other brands do. So that's the information that I was giving you guys, and I was right. <laughs> Someone told me they literally went to the end store and were like one of the first people to get in there and buy something. So yeah. And I know there are a lot of music fans, new metal fans, corn fans that don't know really how the sneaker and streetwear world works. There are a lot of angry people being like, why can't I just buy it? Why can't I just get it normally? You can never do that with collaborations. This is how it works and this is how people try to stop resellers. Like for example, you often can only buy one or two per item and that's why they're limited to certain stores. But you could go and get it in the Adidas store in London when they dropped. So these are all places that you need to keep your eyes on if you wanna know about part two in this collaboration and where you can get it. Now, I've got my laptop. I'm gonna have a look at the collection with you guys and talk it through. First up, there are two pairs of shoes. Okay, so Brendan June of Complex Sneakers has leaked some images of the sneakers. Apparently these are his images. And we can see the Adidas Campus and Super Modified silhouettes. One of them is in a worn black and white. It's just like a distressed midsole. It's kind of cream and looks a little bit dirty. <laughs> but otherwise it's black and white and very similar to these. It's got Adidas and Corn on the tongues here. The Campus is a slightly different silhouette to this, but otherwise it's just like a black with white stripes with a, a white with a white heel tab and then there's a pair of these super modified in brown so they're brown all over with a white toe white midsole and then they have green 
embroidery and a green tab little guitar pick which is super cool which came with the other pair I don't think these ones came with it or no yeah these ones came with it but like I've got it separately somewhere they're brown and then they have black stripes which I really like so looking at both of them I like them so the campus has a white midsole whereas the other pair from the last collaboration had a black midsole these are just a campus whereas the previous ones were a campus noughties I believe these are just a normal campus and I like them, I'd happily have every single pair in this collection, but I absolutely love the two pairs that I already have from the previous collection. I think my favourite out of the two would be the brown Super Modified, because I really like that silhouette and I love a brown colourway, I think that's really cool. I think the campus is cool, I get what they're, what they're doing, they're going for like a distressed look with it, but I already have a pair of black campus that I prefer. However, I totally have these as well because then I've got a pair that I can like wear and a pair that I can keep a bit fresher. But if I had to choose one, I'd go with the Super Modified of Brown. Okay, moving on to the apparel. Now, in the launch event that they had in LA, they had a few different colorways of tracksuits that Jonathan had worn previously as well as the purple. And I think there was green, blue, maybe a few iterations that he has worn in the past. So I thought, Having those on display, knowing they're going to do a part two because there were rumours, shall we say. I thought that's what's going to happen. We're going to get another iteration of the purple sequin tracksuit in a different colourway. And it looks like we have got a bluey green, kind of like a greeny turquoise iteration of it, which is very cool. We've also got a long sleeve, which looks oversized, with three stripes. It's black with white three stripes. It's got the corn Follow the Leader album artwork with green text. And Adidas, I really like the fact that it's got Adidas and Corn written there. And it's got a back print as well, which is really cool. Then we can see some Adidas Corn socks, which please give me. The only thing with that is I'd want loads of pairs because like I wouldn't want to ruin them. They look so sick, really classic, just like Adidas sock, but where it says Adidas, usually it says Corn. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Then we've got the black tracksuit they did last time, but with red three stripes. Now, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't dislike it. Again, I've got the white and black jacket from last time, which I love, and I have loads of baggy Adidas track pants so that I can wear with it as like a full tracksuit. It looks like a full tracksuit, even though I don't have the corn pants, trousers. Um, I like this, but let me zoom in. It looks like there's a very, very small corn logo on the back of the ankle, which is cool. I, I can't see it very clearly. Um, otherwise, it just looks like a pair of black Adidas trousers with a red three stripe. It's cool. Like, I'd totally rock it. It doesn't look super baggy here, but it must be, right? I think this is just like the first pictures. It's very hard because they're not on a body to see like how they fit. It's cool. It's just a slightly different version of something that I really love. And even previous to this collection coming out, I was making videos of me trying to get the perfect fitting black and white Adidas tracksuit as worn by Jonathan from corn, so like, it, this is a bit of me, do you get what I mean? Then we've got a hoodie, which is cool, it's got the three stripes down the middle and corn on the back, I like it, I think the front is a little bit boring, but, it, but it's got a tartan lining in the hood, which is fun, obviously they love a bit of tartan, so I think there's a lot of nice little details that make this, like, fun for corn fans, and obviously for corn themselves, I'm sure, when they were designing this with Adidas, it's cool, I like it, I think I preferred the previous hoodie, but it's cool. This I love, this is a plaid, is it a shacket or a shirt? I'm not entirely sure, it looks like a shacket, like a jacket shirt. Um, it's purple plaid and it's got corn and adidas on the front and the three stripes down the arms. I think this is sick because I think this would be cool even if it was an adidas piece anyway. So the fact that this is a corn adidas piece makes sense because this is stuff that corn like and wear and it's just so fun because you don't often see like a three stripe shirt. So I think this is a really sick piece. Then finally, from what I can see that is leaked online is a short sleeve over a long sleeve t-shirt that is like sewn in together by the looks of it. It is the iconic Corn by Corn self-titled album artwork on the front, really simple, but they've put Adidas in the print as well, which I think looks really great. And they've got the three stripes t-shirt underneath as like a separate long sleeve. And I think that's really cool. I'm guessing that's probably going to be pretty oversized like all the fits were last time, which makes sense because this is like an early 2000s style release. I think it's a great time to be doing it. There's a lot of people like, why now? Well now, because there's the right people in Adidas making this happen who are massive corn fans that have spent years getting to this position to try and make this happen. 
previously in the design and the marketing teams, there weren't the right people there to try and push this. And that's a shame because it would have been great to happen 20, 30 years ago. However, personally, I'm really happy because I actually have adult money now that I can spend on this. Whereas back then I didn't. It is gonna be a little bit pricey like it was before. So I believe that the prices last time were something like this. The trainers were like 130, 140 euros each, which is not too bad. The t-shirts were around 50 to 60 euros each. The hoodie was around 120. The track jacket was around 100. And the track pants were around 80, 90. I think those were kind of like the prices. I made videos on TikTok with the correct prices um at the time but i've made so many videos since i'm just looking back on content and on websites where it was sold and that appears to be and from what i remember about the right prices so not cheap but to be honest not crazy expensive either i know some people think that like 140 pounds 140 euros is a lot for a pair of trainers but it's pretty standard especially for a collaboration these days it's actually quite inexpensive a lot of collaborations come out more like 180 so i don't think it's too bad it's gonna be similar prices so basically, here's the information that you need. It's gonna come out in May, that's all I know so far. It's going to be on places like Foot Patrol and maybe Sneakers and stuff. I can't remember if it actually came out there or not, but it's similar websites like that and stores as well, physical stores, um, some skate stores. The Adidas Confirmed app as well. You wanna be keeping your eyes on that for when it comes up so that you can try and buy them through the app as well. And in the physical Adidas original store in London, I'm not sure if they came out in other physical Adidas stores around the Europe and the UK, probably. But just on a day, limited release, limited amount in each store and online, so keep your eyes peeled. Here in Germany, there's a store called Asphalt Gold, and if you're in Europe, you can buy from there online. They definitely had the last release, so definitely keep your eyes peeled on there. Offspring and sneakers and stuff, size, foot patrol. The Adidas Confirmed app, and in Europe, Asphalt Gold. They're the places I can tell you, and similar places like that. If you want to know about where you can get them in America, let me know in the comments, and I'll come. I've even just seen that ASOS had the Adidas Corn t-shirt in stock, which has blown my mind a little bit, so keep your eyes out for apparel from the collection on the ASOS store, apparently. I don't think they stocked any of the rest of the apparel or the shoes. Blow my mind. I didn't even think the size were going to get it. I thought they were too high street. Like, they're not a tier zero store as far as I'm aware. They do get some collaborations, don't get me wrong. Offspring, definitely. And Foot Patrol, definitely. And End, definitely. I said all of those places. But it looks like it came out in more places. So keep your eyes open, even on ASOS. I'm not sure about the sneakers, though. I think more apparel. So yeah, that's all the insights that I have. That is my personal opinion and my preference. What do you guys think? I think the long sleeve, short sleeve over long sleeve, like double t-shirt, they're like two of my favorite pieces. The brown, super modified, are so sick. I really, really like those. Those are probably my three favorite pieces. Then the plaid shirt, um, and then of course the iconic tracksuit, the turquoise green sequin tracksuit is amazing. Um, I would take anything. I like the whole collection, but those are probably my favorite pieces from it. What do you guys think? What are your favorite pieces? Are you gonna try and cop? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want any more information about this or you have any questions, let me know. I'll see what I can do. I will come back. I'll keep you guys informed. Second Corn Adidas collection will release in May 2024 through Adidas and select retailers online and in store with the Campus 2 price at $120 and the Super Modified at $150. As of this writing, retail prices for the apparel have not been announced. Keep an eye on the Soul Retrieval website. So this is where I'm reading this. To stay updated on the release and sneaker, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so $120 and $150 for the sneakers. The Super Modified being the more expensive pair, which are the ones that I like the most. So similar prices, like I said before. There's information online. There's some pictures that have been leaked in one of them. I'm pretty sure that is the marketing dude that I know. I don't know if I'm gonna like share names, so I'm not gonna do that on here, but you might see me tag them. I don't know why I'm doing this on my social media um, when I post stuff because they very kindly hooked me up last time and this is the best thing that's ever happened to the sneaker shooter world, in my personal opinion. And you can't see, but I have hundreds of pairs of sneakers. I'm a big sneaker streetwear fan and a big new metal mosher. So this is everything I love. <laughs> <laughs> and as you all saw from all my posts last year, I was like disturbingly excited about this and I will continue to be and I just, I don't know, I wish I lived in LA so that I could have like gone to the release because I feel like I could have been there and I could have met them and I would have seen my mates that work in Adidas, my new mates that we met through this whole collaboration happening. Um, but yeah, I don't, I live in London and I hope they come and do like a release event here but I don't think it's going to happen because Corn are obviously based in America. Um, anyway. 
I love corn and I love Adidas and that is it. That is my video. Peace out. Love ya. The end. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. And I promise I'll keep you updated and in a loop. Make sure to follow me on all of my socials where I'll be posting more often about this release. Peace out. Have a nice day.